what is going on guys and i'm here thank you for clicking on the video as you can see i'm going to be showing you guys the most effective and some of the best things you want to start you can do to get high ground on your friends every single time that you guys play so you can stop dying like a bot only if you learned and you got high ground please like and subscribe no five minute intros let's get straight into it so I'm gonna show you guys in slow motion, step by step, and then I'm gonna show you fast motion. So, you wanna start off, do your 290s as usual, extend one ramp out, and I suggest you don't pull out your pickaxe, I just pulled out the pickaxe, cause I'm used to it, but I suggest you keep your pick, your, um, your building material out so you can place the cone before you even reach, cause look, if you go like this you're gonna have to hesitate and you might end up doing this so if you already have your building out you can already go like this you want to go like that and I suggest you don't put your pickaxe out after you place anything because as you can see you have a further range that you can edit from so now what you want to do is only if you're advanced you can place two other cones right there for extra protection and to reassure your opponent does not go that direction but that's only if you're advanced and you can do it then you want to do a double edit place a wall above and below if you'd like but I suggest above so you and opponent don't crash together and get one pump that happens too many times when I'm watching people's clips and then what you want to do is reset this cone now you're probably wondering why I didn't reset this floor right here so I noticed that most controller players have trouble with going like that fast if you're just beginning so it doesn't even really matter you can only go like this reset and it'll be the same as you resetting both of them so I suggest if you're a beginner you only reset the cone and then what you want to do is you want to do a 180 place a ramp above you and then go like this side jump and then do 290s and then instant high ground and now I'm going to show you a fast version and then I will show you a clip of me getting high ground using this technique right? yeah so this is the next one we one start this is the next one we want to start. It's pretty easy to do, and everyone should be able to do it unless you don't know how to do 90s. So you want to start off doing extend ramp, two regular 90s, and then you want to put another extended ramp cones. Instead of going on top like the last one, what you want to do is you want to do a 180, and then continue with three 90s. And then you should have permanent height and I would suggest you put cones like that all around before you continue going up so that is the one you want to start and I'm going to show you against somebody in full transition no so this next one of you one star is pretty easy I'm not gonna say it's like really easy but it's gonna take you like maybe a minute to get used to but it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it so what you want to do extend one ramp do your 290s as usual extend one ramp out and then you want to put two walls and I'm gonna say this 3,000 times bro make sure your cone renders in to right there because too many times have I raged because I'm like this and I'm like why did my cone place there so make sure that your cone is placed right there so after that you want to go like this turn around do another cone jump out you can put a wall if you want to and then you want to do a side jump and then you can jump on your ramp you can put it behind you it doesn't really matter for this sake I'm just gonna put it behind me and then what you want to do is 190 290 and 390 and now I'm, I'm the reason I'm going slow is because after your third 90 what you want to do is an infinite 90 for those of you who don't know how to do an infinite 90 all you do is it's a 90 but you're not jumping so you're going like this make sure it places and that you render above place your cone 
and then after you do your infinite 90 you can do three more 90s without your jump fatigue and then look how high you are i don't think that your opponent will catch up to you and you'll have easy high